Look at that beast. Look at his back. That is a fat, fat, giant vermilion snapper. That was a little easier. Elbows up high. You lost your trip to yell little boyfriend. You're yelling at me about how I... Something about the way you move. Makes me want to go to sleep. Here we go. What's up? What's up, Dark Sizzle Nation? Good morning. The last three mornings I have been getting up super early and we just went on an hour, on an hour car, a little bit. What's up, Dark Sizzle Nation? Good morning. It's another beautiful morning here in South Florida. This is my third day in a row getting up early and going fishing. We've just been in the car almost a full hour driving north. We are fishing on a Stewart today and literally I'm half asleep right now because I was sleeping in the car. But I'm super excited. This is our first time deep sea fishing out of Stewart Inlet. And I don't even understand how we haven't done this already yet. But we're fishing with one of our good buddies, Captain Peter. And if you remember, I fished with Peter on Long Island catching Big Striper out of Montauk. So it should be a fun day. We're almost there to the boat. Good how morning. Good. How are you? Good to see you. Nice to see What's you. up, man? Beautiful day. I'm excited. Yeah, we're yeah. excited. Right, um, you need a hand with your stuff? No, no, we got it. Okay. She's strong as a mule. And if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Brian. I'm Darcy's boyfriend. I do most of the filming. And today, again, we're going fishing down at Stewart. But uh, we quit our jobs like two years ago so that we could create these fishing videos. Hopefully inspire some of you to follow your dreams, whether it's traveling to Florida, going fishing, whatever it is. And uh, so follow us along today. We're going to have a great time. How is it that doing? He's doing okay. Um, you know, he has to just have chemo the rest yep. of his life. But he has his numbers down, so that's good. now about like probably like five to six miles out beautiful day out here we got a north wind it's probably around like five to ten knots which is like perfect conditions out here we got a little bit of a chop but it looks really fishy and the north wind is like perfect conditions so that makes me excited for the fishing today um, and we're going down current we're going south right now sending out lines captain peter is dropping back our lines today but basically we're going to start trolling five line spread we've got a uh, downrigger on one side with a sea witch and a ballyhoo. And then on the other side, we've got a little cigar weight that we sent out with the Azuri Bonita. Hopefully we can get that wahoo bite out here. We'll see. And then we're also looking for mahi or any pelagics that are around. And then we're gonna get the outrigger baits out. And we're gonna see what's going on out here. But the ride out was beautiful. Saw some flying, flying fish and we got a lot of scattered weed around. So now we just gotta kind of get the lines out and then wait for the fish to bite. Nice. That's a fish. It's cool in line right now. Oh, that's good. Good fish. It's showing, guys. Pretty cool, man. We've just been trolling. We're probably still in the first hour of trolling here. And I just saw five minutes ago a bunch of little mahi greyhounding towards our base, which is really, really cool to see. I don't get to see that a whole lot. And this line just started smoking. This is a planer rod. So we're going to see what we got, but this is a really good fish. It feels heavy. Like little mahi. Little mahi? Pretty sure. I saw deep color. It looks like a wahoo. Oh, it's a nice, nice black fish. Oh, it's a nice black fish. Ryan, take it out of gear. Oh, oh, watch it. Okay, go ahead. Go follow him around. Nice black fin. Whoa. He just saw the boat. He didn't yeah, like that. Yeah, he didn't like that at all. Okay, you're good. You're good. You're good. So we side hook. Oh, you got a tail wrap. You got a tail wrap. Turn around. I got to go somewhere else. Yeah, not a good idea. Nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. Okay. Tail wrap tuna. This is a solid tuna, guys. Workout for me. Oh, it's oh, a bonita. Giant oh, giant bonita. It's a bonita. Dude, that's a beast bonita. I honestly thought it was a blackfin the whole time. The size? Look at him. That's a 20 pound bonita right there. Holy moly. All right. Okay. I got my workout in. I'll take that. <laughs> First, I thought it was a wahoo with those Damn, stripes for a I second. Was good, yeah. Then I thought it was a nice blackfin. But that is a solid freaking uh, bonita, man. Wow. And they fight. They fight from the start to the finish of the fight. I don't know what you guys were doing with that fish. It's a little mahi, and then it was a wahoo. Do you guys hear that? Hold them up. And then there's a tuna. Look at that beast. Look at his back. That is a fat, fat, 
the needle right there. These are the big boys that show up in the summertime and these are the big boys that we catch during tournaments when we're trying to catch kingfish all day long and they'll just eat your goggle eyes all day long. Big fish like this and even bigger. So I guess they're in the area nowadays. So let's get a real fish now. I mean, this is a real fish, but let's get an eating fish. All right, guys, we switched up our fishing technique. I'm hooked up. After catching up Anita trolling, we decided to go ahead and drop some lines to the bottom to catch some snapper and some other good bottom fish. And I am hooked up. Brian caught a fish before I did, a beautiful vermilion snapper. Pudding caught, pudding caught a fish. Pudding caught a fish. Yeah. It's a miracle. And now we're going to see what I got. But we're deep fishing deep. It's about like almost 300 feet of water out here. So hand cranking all the way up. <laughs> Get a good workout today. Oh yeah. Nice, oh yeah. Nice, nice. Oh yeah. Hey. Oh hey. yeah, baby. Hey. Nice. That is a yellow eye snapper, right? No, this is another million. Oh, it's another million? Yeah. Oh my gosh, he looks like de deformed because he's so big. <laughs> wow. Get that out. is a big yep, yeah, got it. Okay, watch the hook. Yep. Check it out, guys. My bad, I thought it was a yellow eye snapper, but this is a giant vermilion snapper. That's a, that's a Look at this beauty. Let me try to get the hook out so I can hold them sideways for you. So these guys, that's a solid fish for around here. What Captain Peter was saying, this is probably like a three, easy three pound, beautiful vermilion snapper. And it just ate a piece of squid on a uh, chicken rig. Pretty sweet on circle hooks and we got like a light on there for deep dropping in 300 feet of water. So I just reeled this beautiful fish all the way up and they are delicious eating. Gorgeous. Alright, let's go up and catch a couple more. Alright, so you ready to get schooled again? It's one to one right now. I don't want to it's even. I'm not getting schooled. Here we go. Drop it to the bottom. Got him. Got him? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Nice one. Dude, the bellies are so full. Yeah. Check it out. Solid second vermilion snapper for me. Woohoo! Killing it over here. Awesome. circle hooks here and so hooked in the corner of the mouth. The rig that I'm using, we're actually using J hooks. Stop it, buddy. Get them out. There we go. There we go. All right, clear. Bubble blade pliers did the job. But these guys, I think they have to be a minimum of what size? 10 inches, 10 inches to keep. So uh, just imagine these guys a little smaller, but you're allowed a minimum, a maximum of five per person per day on the boat. Oops, there you went. <laughs> And if I remember correctly, the, the fillets on these guys are like, they kind of like fall apart like yellowtail snapper. They're really quite delicious. So I can't wait to fillet these guys later with my bubble blade knives and a look at the fillets. And maybe we'll even do a catch and cook video for y'all, but five per person per day. Right, here we go. We got the chicken rig, we got three hooks on here. Actually, Captain Peter hand makes these, uh, these chicken rig deep drop rigs that he's got here. But you got dropper loops tied on. We're using 100 pound fluorocarbon weeder right now. All right, I'm waiting to hear from him to drop. Here we go. Drop into the bottom. It's about 300 feet of water, like we said. So we got a two pound weight on there to drop it way down to the bottom. So either way, whether you catch a fish or you got to reel it back up, that's a, that's a lot of work. So he, Peter was saying that a lot of people come here and drop two or three times and then kind of move on because it's a lot of work. Um, so I think I've caught three so far. And now we're dropping back down again with the shrimp on there. I mean, sorry, with the squid on there. Kind of just as soon as it hits the bottom, you leave the weight on bottom. And he's keeping the boat in gear, so we're not going to drift too far, like too fast. So I'm just going to continually let line out. And as soon as I start to feel those tap, tap, taps, I'm using J hooks on my rig, set the hook on them, and bring them all the way back up. So, so far we're only getting one at a time. But we could get two or one or more. I don't know. We'll find out here. There he is. Fish on. That was a little easier. 
I didn't have to let out as much line that time because literally as soon as it hit the bottom, it started getting tapped on. So if the captain can put you in the right spot and put you right on those fish, you're going to hook up and catch a ton of them. Now I got to reel them up, but I'm happy I don't have as much line out this time. <laughs> Top, top hook. Bottom hook. Oh no, bottom, bottom, bottom. And they ate, they ate all the other baits. <laughs> oh yeah, they destroyed it. Wow. All your baits before you. I was getting a lot of bites, I guess, from yep. multiple fish because they got all the hook, all the bait off the hooks that time. And this is probably the, the smallest guy yep. of the day, but he is up. still a keeper, still and his keeper. belly is full. These things are like oh, feeding yeah. down there like crazy. Right. Getting the fishing workout today. You see those guns? They're coming in handy, that's for sure. Let's see them. Elbows up high. <laughs> all right. Tell us about your workout routine, Hot are, are we all painted up okay? No, it's just because of yelling at her boyfriend. You're yelling at me about how I, how I don't do anything, so whatever. I didn't say you don't do anything. I said you don't work out, and fishing is not working out. We are back at the dock and today was just once again another beautiful day here. We got our gorgeous vermilion snappers and thanks to Captain Peter, he definitely put us on the fish today. And actually Peter, Captain Peter doesn't eat a whole lot of fish so we're going to take these home. We got my 40 quart grizzly cooler with us and I'm just going to go ahead and toss them all in there. This is probably one of the biggest fish of the day. Beautiful fish. Can't wait to taste them and eat them later. Do a catch and cook for you guys. And, um, but yeah, it was epic. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was awesome exploring a new area and learning more about it. And we're really looking forward to taking our new flats boat up here and fishing this summer and maybe even getting offshore on those flat calm days and probably catch up some of these bottom fish. So once again, guys, thank you for watching. We appreciate you. And if you want to fish with Captain Peter and, you, and you're and gonna be visiting like Montauk, New York this upcoming summer, he is a charter captain up there and he lives down here in Stewart but also lives in Montauk. So check out Elite Long Island Outfitters out of Montauk, New York, and they have a charter boat that they go out and kill it. And I fished with him last year, and I caught a huge, like, 30-pound striper. Beautiful fish. So he knows how to fish up there. He knows how to fish down here. Excellent captain. And I'll link the information to the charter company in the description below. But great day. Make sure you hit that subscribe bell. Subscribe and hit that bell notification so that way you receive updates of when our videos are posted. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching. Captain, why is Montauk so great for fishing? We owe it all to the uh, the Ice Age 10,000 years ago. When it receded, right. it dropped all the material as it went further and further north. Uh -huh. And the bigger stuff, the rocks will last. That's why we have Long Island. Long Island is actually a glacial moraine. Wow. Okay. So all these rocks that have been dropped are all structured. Okay. 